Hello there. May I ask your name? My name is Ben. My name is Erica. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ben. For decades now, Hollywood movies have depicted fantastical vision of human life in the future by glorifying advanced science and technology. From the use of AI tech to robots doing the manual work for us, the science of the future in those movies had no bounds. And the good news is, the vision of that future is now finally here. The prime example of this happening is Erika, Japan's latest female humanoid robot with advanced AI tech. And in this video today, we take an in-depth look at this futuristically advanced female humanoid robot straight out of Japan. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us, an abbreviation for Erato Intelligent Conversational Android. Erika is an advanced female android designed as a research platform to study human-robot interaction. It understands natural language has a synthesized human-like voice and can display a variety of facial expressions. This advanced humanoid is a collaborative effort between Osaka University, the University of Kyoto, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International ATR. Hiroshi Ishiguro, the lead director of the Erika project, made hats turn worldwide when he unveiled Erika, an autonomous female conversational android who looks and sounds like a young woman. The creator is said to have programmed Erika in the art of method acting, in which an actor aspires to complete emotional identification with the role they are playing. Given that Erika has no emotions of her own, she would have to rely on the algorithm integrated into her operation to simulate whatever emotions are required. This advanced female humanoid robot just happens to be a conversational robot companion with its method acting style built. Erika was started as a part of a five-year research project to build a talking friend for an aging, shrinking population in Japan. In Japan, many are living alone and they need to have a conversation with others, says Takashi Minato, a researcher with Hiroshi Ishiguro. The human-like robot can help support them. Hiroshi Ishiguro, who calls his creation the world's most beautiful and human-like android, said, we had to simulate her emotions and emotions through one-on-one -on -one sessions, such as talking through her feelings and coaching character development. Thanks to their countless and non-stop efforts, the AI-powered female humanoid android resembles a 23-year-old woman, can tilt her head and blink, sports a sophisticated speech synthesizer, and can use her array of infrared sensors to recognize people. Today at the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International in Kyoto, where Erika is a receptionist, she can speak to a new visitor for up to 10 minutes and has 150 conversation topics to pick from. She can speak to a stranger better than most of us can, mention her creator. When put on an experiment, a multimodal Turing test where you ask someone to talk to a robot and later ask them whether they thought they just spoke to a robot or a robot being controlled by a human inside. The experiment involved 11 people who were asked to talk to Erika and the majority said they were absolutely certain they had just spoken to a real person. This experiment further nailed down the fact that Erika is one of a kind female humanoid robot with a method acting style tag build and its advanced human-like capabilities, Erika the female humanoid robot managed to nab a staring role in an upcoming $70 million budget Hollywood science fiction film entitled B. Insane, right? I feel honored that my research is being used in a film. It's usually backwards. First, you have the movie, which in turn inspires the science and technology research. But when the research inspires the movie, it means you're building a future that has already surpassed science fiction. It means you as a researcher have the imagination to build something that is now inspiring to a movie. I feel like my research is getting recognition, said Hiroshi Ishiguro. With that, we've come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts on Japan's latest female humanoid robot with advanced capabilities? Let us know in the comments section section below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.